I see that y'all like it and y'all was giving little comments about it. So, you know, I had to go ahead and bring it back and spruce it on up for you guys. Um, but we're going to be here to tell another story time, of course. I'm going to call this, she was also DL or somewhere in that. Because we always talk about how men are DL. We never talk about how women are also DL. Yeah, we, we don't talk about that enough. There are a lot of women out here that be living their life a certain way. Um, but they actually don't operate within that way, you know? And I think there's a difference in being secretive and being private, right? Um, complete difference. This girl was not private. She was very secretive and she was lying and cheating and conniving and doing a lot of shit she had no fucking business. But I'm going to tell y'all about what happened and how she put me in an uncompromising position that I could have got my ass beat by her husband. Let's get into it. So I was 22, 23 years old in there. What made me want to tell this story is because she sent me a friend request on social media. And I was like, oh, this story just popped into my fucking head, y'all. But let me tell y'all how this girl had me fucked up, like all the way. So my cousin, we're going to call my cousin Ashley, right? Um, she follows my channel. I've already talked to her about this, but I do not want to put her name out and all of that. It's just a whole lot of stuff that's connected into this. I'm going to tell the story, but I, of course, I got to blur names. So we're going to call my cousin Ashley, and we're going to call the girl that had me fucked up. We're going to call her B. That's what we're going to call her. We're going to call her B, and my cousin is Ashley. Remember that. Okay, so I had seen B before around town when I lived in Louisiana, um, but me and her never exchanged any words. We never said anything to each other. It's, it was just kind of a like a known face. You know what I'm saying? So my cousin Ashley ended up having this get together. And um, I ended up going up there. I, get, I ended up meeting her whenever I went to this gathering. Me and her spoke, you know, exchanged words. Like, oh, what you do? Oh, I'm in the military. Oh, what you do? Oh, I'm a such and such. I can't even say what she is. <laughs> but I'm a such and such. Let's just say what she is is somewhere in theater let's just leave it there um and so i said oh that's dope as fuck that's something i would also want to get into y'all know i'm an entertainer y'all know i'm dramatic I, I love things like that so me and her connected but we we weren't friends we wasn't building a rapport it was just like we were sharing information about one another and just you know i guess getting cool in a sense not being friends or anything but just kind of a sense like okay if i see you i can now speak to you you can speak to me and it kind of be on that like I don't want to say we were, well, were we building a rapport? Hmm. So Ashley had told me, she was like, look, cuz I'm going to be, I'm going to end up having this event. Um, I really want you to come. I said, well, what the event is? She was like, it was kind of like a ball event or whatever. And so it was going to be having like a nice attire and everything going on and stuff. And she wanted me to be there. And I was like, hell yeah, I like shit like that, bitch. So I can get all cute, get my makeup done, my hair done. And I could be a bad bitch. Why not? Yes, honey. I'm living for that. So I was like, okay, I'm willing to do that. So B was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be there too. I was like, oh shit, it's gonna be lit as fuck. When she said that in my head, I should have known right then and there what type of time she was on. Because it was kind of like she blurted it out, like, oh, I'm gonna be there too. Like, and then it kind of made me think like, okay, Ashley must have already told B that I like girls. Because the way she said it, it was just like inviting. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of brushed it off and really didn't pay her no mind because she's married. So let's fast forward and go to the day that the event happened and the shit that fucking popped off because y'all it was fucking crazy it was crazy so the event was a saturday keep that in mind keep that in mind the event was a saturday right so i have on a blue gown um and it had diamonds all over it uh, you know, I had half up, half down with my hair. You know, I was looking cute, beat face to the gods. You know, I was looking real delicious, real edible. So, you know, um, I ended up getting into the building and it's a lot of people there, right? It's a lot of people there. So, so I ended up seeing B and I ended up seeing her husband. 
So whenever they're together, she said something to him. They walk over to me. He was like, what's up? I was like, oh, hey, how you doing? She was like, hey, girl. I was like, hey, girl, how are you? She was like, nothing. You know, this is such and such. This is my husband. So, you know, me and him, we just chopping it up. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, do you know such and such? I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He like, oh, yeah, they're my people. So me and him shooting the shit too, you know what I'm saying? It's just a vibe. Like everybody really having a good time. They got alcohol. They got the DJ. It's a lot of people there. I know some people there. So, I mean, it was really giving what it was supposed to be gave. I really was living for that. But let me tell y'all when shit starts getting sticky. Now, I told y'all about that comment that sis had made to me earlier. Not, not earlier on Saturday, but like previously. You know what I'm saying? But I told y'all I brushed it off. I ain't really try to make it nothing, but I should have, right? So, of course, they got the alcohol. They got the punch and everything. Everybody started drinking. And y'all know when black folks get together and some alcohol involved, everybody start to lose their goddamn mind. So... Her husband is over there with a bunch of other niggas. They over there drinking, you know what I'm saying, running it about some shit. So she comes over to me. She was like, um, you want to go over here with me um, into this other room? We had to go get something. I said, go get what? She was like, oh, we got to get something for the table. And I'm like, what do we need to get for a table? I was like, wait, like some juice or something? She was like, yeah, some more alcohol and stuff. So I'm like, why you just ain't going to get it by yourself? I didn't want to be rude to her or nothing though. So I was just like, okay, I guess. So in this building, right? This building is really fucking big. They have like off rooms and off spaces in this building, right? Cause they rented this place out. So this, pla this place has like different rooms in it. We go to a room to go get some more liquor and stuff. And I was like, oh, she is telling the truth. When you go into the room, you can close the door. She closes the door and she was like, you know, I'm attracted to you, right? So now I'm in a dark fucking room because the room isn't like when you, even when you cut the light on, the light isn't bright. The light is kind of dim. Like they should change the fucking light bulb. And I'm like, I'm in this fucking room with this girl. Like, oh my God. And she's coming on to me. I don't know what to do. Like, I know I'd be on here talking freaky and shit, y'all. But when I'm put in a position that where I don't have the control or I don't know what's going on, it really does make me anxious. And it makes me really, really nervous. So I was like, what the fuck? This is weird as fuck. So I say, what you mean? She was like, I'm attracted to you. I said, okay, what you want me to do with that information? She was like, look, my husband is homophobic as fuck. He don't know I like women. You know what I'm saying? And I am. Like, I've been with women. I love women. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be with you. She was like, we can lock this door right now and I can eat your pussy. Okay. Uh, uh, let me know where I lost you. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. So let me tell y'all about my reaction and how I felt about all this. First of all, ma'am, I don't know you. And y'all know I'm freaky as fuck. I've done some shit. So I can't even just say that. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've done some shit with motherfuckers. I really ain't know like that. It's like, yo, don't judge me, bitch. Judge your mammy. But I'm just saying. But to her, I don't know you. Know you. Like, me and you haven't even built that kind of connection on that type of passion. Where I would feel comfortable to even give you this coochie. First of all. Second of all, your husband is homophobic. What if your husband comes looking for you? And I'm in this fucking room with you. Like, does your husband really not know that you like pussy? Or do he have an inkling? And if he even assumed or thought that you was trying to get some, he'll fight you and the other bitch. And the other bitch meaning me. Because you're not going to put me in a position like that, y'all. You're not going to do that. Mm -mm. You're not going to do that to me, ma'am. We're not doing that. So I was like, nah, man, we got to go back out there, man. Let's get this liquor. She grabs me, y'all, so, like, tight. And she starts to kiss on me. Now, I ain't going to hold you. If I could be honest with you, when she started to kiss on me, I got a little wet. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I, I, it turned me on, bitch. I been drinking a little bit. But I made her stop. I was like, wait, wait, no, no, no. You, you tripping. You tripping. I was like, man, your husband out here, he homophobic. You trying to fuck on me. All this other shit. I just, I'd rather us not. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, tell me why we grabbed that liquor and was walking out. Because she finally got the, like, notion that I'm not finna do that shit with you. Why the fuck we grabbed that liquor and turned the corner and her husband was like, oh, I was looking for you. Bitch, when you get that motherfucking intuition that be telling you, bitch, you need to, 
you need to move around, you need to go, listen to it. What if I would have been in that room with her and we started and her husband came in and walked in on us? Then what? What if we would have locked the door and he couldn't come in, but he was knocking on the door? How are we going to explain that? Oh, we was in a room and we locked the door. Why? And it, then it made me think too, like he was over there running it with niggas that I know. They know I like pussy. So how do I know these niggas ain't told him that I eat pussy, that I like women? It's so many, you know what I'm saying? It's so many questions. It, it, like, no, you know what I'm saying? And then it also made me think, maybe when he saw us walk into the other room or us leave, that somebody said something to him or something and that's why he was looking for her or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? He didn't say this, this is all speculation. And that situation had happened or whatever. So we ended up going back out there, right? Y'all tell me why we got there. Um, everybody drinking and stuff. And my cousin had said she made sure that everybody had a DD, right? She is like really big on that, like crazy on that shit. Like if you drinking like that, you better have somebody that can drive, right? So her husband had been drinking, but he hadn't been drinking like she had been drinking. I mean, she was fucked up. Do y'all know that we had left the building, right? We left the building, everybody's gonna leave. So my cousin was like, hey, can you take this to B car? I say, sure. So I hurry up and try to take it to her car. Do y'all know that she was in the back seat, not feeling well? This girl grabs me and pulls me in the fucking car with her because it wasn't nobody out there but me and her. Pulls me in the car with her and I fall on top of her. I hurry up and try to get up. My cousin screamed, you all right, girl? You done fell in the car. Bitch, I didn't fall in nowhere. She grabbed me with her freaky ass and she's trying to push me on her and she don't even feel well. Her husband gonna whoop my ass because I'm gay. He gonna beat the gay out of me and you sitting up here playing with me like this and your husband don't know where he at and he gonna see me on top of you. He gonna think I'm gonna take advantage of you and that ain't what it is because I'm not that type of girl. Ma'am, stop. Immediately, immediately, stop it. But y'all, she tried to add me on social media. And I declined, cause ma'am, no. You on that same shit. And that's why your ass tried to add me. And guess what her sign is? A goddamn Sagittarius. Stay away from me. Y'all are here to kill and destroy. And I'm sick of it. You fire signs, y'all always up to some shit. What you wanna do with my little water sign ass? What you wanna do with me? You let me know. But y'all, I had to tell y'all that story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It ain't just the men that's down low, it's the women's too. But y'all have a great day. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world. But I ain't seen myself another girl like you.